All right, now we're gonna check out obese TikToker screams discrimination because airplanes uh, seat are too small. Request by Pepsi Man. Yeah, I'm gonna show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I hate disingenuous people. Yeah, man, I hate them too, man. I don't hate them. No, I hate them. You can't trust them. Pull up the first video. This is a big girl, right? She knows she big. My mom offered me five hundred dollars if I could run on this thing for five minutes straight, man. Now, for a girl be this big, that's this is not typical. She's actually in good shape. I mean, physically. What? She can hold on. Well, I guess you got to start she's somewhere, right? She's got great endurance. You're talking about cardiovascular. Yeah. Well, I'm not talking for me. I'm talking about for her being that size. Yeah. Most should. people that size can't do cardio. They can't even get up on that. Yeah. So that's a good job right there. She got some powerful quads on her. I bet your leg's stronger than mine. I seriously doubt that. You crazy as hell. That girl is boss. I don't think this woman can do one lunge. Well, not with her weight. Get for my body? Uh -huh. She'd probably do a world record. <laughs> Them quads are strong. But the reason why I say this woman is disingenuous, she put this post up getting on an airplane. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it's discrimination that they can't build wider plane owls than airplanes, 2023. <laughs> them, them, them seats got their own TVs. That's a lot of room. What kind of a... I mean, them screens look like they're about 12 inches, about 15 Steve inches. Right? That, nah, man. She just, Those screens are big. It's... You're an outlier. You're not the typical person. You're an anomaly. You're an aberration. <laughs> you are huge. Yeah. What is that? First so class? So for you to what? pull what the discrimination card, yeah, it's disingenuous. And I'm calling you out on it. I'm calling you out. I mean, come on. Now. Look at this other video. You, you know, got you, another? You know you too damn big. How are you going to put up a video that says fat girl problems on your TikTok? She's got a pretty face. Yeah. Got a big mouth on it too. I like a girl with a big wide smile like that. Yeah, you know I like a girl never with broad let it shoulders. Go that far, you know what I mean. I love a girl with some broad shoulders. Don't Them hips too let broad. it go that far. I don't give a fuck. How much you think she weighs? Don't I think do she, it, uh, man. About six hundred. Stop about it. About six. About three of me and you. Just add one more twin. That's her. Listen, watch this. What the fuck? You get up. It sound like you having sex get to that chair. She got her OnlyFans? <laughs> I'm thinking all that growing. Probably got OnlyFans. I think she go to her profile. She got OnlyFans? Let me see. I don't I didn't I, I bet she got OnlyFans. I didn't even check the look. Because that's a lot that's a fetish for a lot of men. You got any videos of her eating? I sent you a video of her eating, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to look at that. No, don't don't send it to him. We talking about. I ain't trying to look at that, man. Man, go and give him that eating video, man. You know we love to eat on on camera, man. Don't send him the video. What are you I've seen a bunch of those on Twitter. Yeah. Come on now. Go you gotta, you gotta eating, put the eating video in there. Got to. Kentucky fried chicken and shit. She's got a pretty face. Yeah, she's a real pretty girl. But was that it? Like Michelin man, you know? I've seen way worse than that. That's the problem. That was nothing, man. That was nothing. Um, I bet you, I bet she feel like a pillow, man. I bet you feel good. I've been with girls that like I've tens. Girl. I've been with girls that like tens and they like real skinny. You feel like they, they tens and they skinny. How do you tan if they skinny? I mean slim. I mean skinny. Sorry, I miss I misspoke. And sometimes you know. Ain't nobody trying to get with olive oil. Can I talk? Can I finish the statement? Go ahead. Okay, good. Thank you. I've been with girls that was you know on the slim side. You know they feel good in the bed. It's feel kind of hard though when you hit with them bones. This is. I'm trying to tell them something. You keep cutting me off. Oh, man. You hit an elbow or a knee or a pelvis? Game over. Well, anyway, like I was saying. Charlie I, horse. Like I said, I was in bed with this girl. She's hot. She's a 10, you know, but she was on the slim side. She felt good, you know. You know, I busted a few and I got off of her, you know. Hey, man. Um, now, I've been with girls. Not as big as her. Not as big as her, but they was pretty big, you know. They was round, you know. And when you cut them lights off, man. These big girls, man, they feel real good. They feel better than these 10s. It feel like I was when on top of a pillar. Like you off. on a waterbed. <laughs> <laughs> and man. Have you ever... Hey, keep, can I finish saying something? I'm going to tell them something. Man, when I got in between them... Hey, Kevin, you ain't even got to... I said, let me talk to them. Man, it felt like it was gravy <laughs> between them legs. Hey, Kevin, let me say something. It felt like the gravy that's on biscuits and sausage. You go to McDonald's, I want some biscuits and gravy. That's what it felt like. They don't have and then when I got off of it, right? Like you talking about Biscuitville. Who don't know biscuits and gravy, man? Everybody you said McDonald's, though. McDonald's don't sell that. McDonald's used to, in some areas, got biscuit and gravy in the South. 
like I was saying, it felt like it was grave in between them legs, right? And then when I got off right, you just don't get off. I had to roll off, and I <laughs> fell about two feet before I hit the bed. Now, let me talk. But, man, it was good, There's man. There's a lot of area. It was real good. Man, what do you think I can't you do this? You think you own this damn show or something? I mean, do some talking. The, only, the only negative, the only caveat was we couldn't do certain positions. Like, she couldn't get on top of me. She'd smother me to death. Because she had, like, triple E's or something like that. And she can't ride. She can't do cowgirl. I had to get on top. I had to. If she gets on top, she's going to shatter both my hips. I'm going to need a wheelchair after that. Hey. But I got in between them legs. But when I got in between it, right, you can't hold them. Them legs was like 300 pounds. Well, them legs like 200 pounds, it felt like. Oh, well, really? It's like, yeah, well, you going too deep. They start pushing this way. All of them, them big. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I said, bitch, you need to relax. Feel like I'm doing shoulder presses in here. <laughs> so she got, got her to relax, got them legs pinned back. But, man, I'm telling you, it felt like it was gravy. It was it was good, man. If you've never been with a big girl, the best way I can describe it, if you ever went to the gym and just laid on one of them big medicine balls and, like, laid on it, that's literally what it feels like. It don't feel like that. You yes, did, it does. No, nah, you embellish. You, exa you exaggerate. No, I'm not exaggerating. Look, look, the only, an, another... Uh, hey, hold a, up. That's exactly what it feels like. A damn a damn ball? Yeah, medicine ball. A medicine ball. Yeah, one of them big medicine balls? Yeah. You just lay on it, and that's, that's literally what it feels like. No, man. You fall off too easy. Hey, Kevin, you got more traction than stop, a you gonna stop, uh, uh, you gonna stop minimizing my damn input. What are you talking about minimizing? I ain't trying to downplay what you say. Yeah, you are. No, I ain't, man. Man, you know what? Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got something you know else what? I gotta say. You know what? Another, another negative thing? You know when you with a slim girl? I mean, it's... You hear that, right? That clapping? But when you with a big girl, man, it's just too much clapping. Sound like, I'm, like you in church. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let me, tell, let me tell them what it's like. Clapping coming from everywhere. You're like, you know how you're tapping, right? I was like, man, this is too much clapping action. This sounds like a parade <laughs> of people in that clapping, right? So I slowed it down and I just barely did it, right? It's still too much clapping. It's just too much clapping. All them, all them waves coming back, hitting you, and all that clap action, okay. it, it becomes a distraction. Clap back. Yeah. You know. Don't let it go that far, man. Just, you have to stop it, man. How can you miss it, right? There is no way you go to the mirror and you don't see what, where you, you know, heading. You know what I mean? There is no way you don't see where you're about to head. You know what I mean? You're about to head to disaster, man. You know what I mean? You better fucking look at that mirror and check yourself. Oh shit, what is this? I gotta stop, man. What the fuck? You know? <laughs> what? Look at my ass. I can't even get out of the door, you know? You know, I can't get out of my house. I have to, like, zigzag out, you know? <laughs> One ass cheek, the next ass cheek. But I think you know what it is also? It, it, it's like when you're depressed, you eat. Most people do, do eat. Then they get fatter. And then they go to the mirror. And then they get depressed by seeing that they got fatter. And then they go back to eating. And then they go back to the mirror, getting depressed again. And it's like a feedback loop, you know, until it's the path of no return. I've said this before. There is a reason why there is a thing called the, the path of no return. You know what I mean? It's not just made for fun. You know, the path of no return, which means you cross the path and now you can't let return. You know what I mean? You don't want to end up there. You don't want to end up there. Like what, you know, those super fat ones that you have to get a lift for, you know, like there has to be the whole community has to come together and get a lift for you. You know, like they have to rip your roof off and then <laughs> you know? like, <laughs> you know and 10 people have to go under you and you know strap you and shit and pray to god that the lift can get you out you know what i mean and then a helicopter must come <laughs> a helicopter must come to you 
you know, take you away in air. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry, it's late and it's quite funny. <laughs>